Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Caroline May e. Telmo, a criminology student from BSD 1-1. I'm here to present to you my topic, which is about the biopsychosocial model of crime causation, moral insanity, and criminal responsibility. This is our objectives. At the end of the discussion, the student should learn and define the biopsychosocial model of crime causation, know the brief history about biopsychosocial model, recognize the importance of the biopsychosocial model, explain the moral insanity and criminal responsibility, and understand the difference between moral insanity and criminal responsibility. So now, let's start. Biopsychological model of crime causation is a multidisciplinary perspective that attempts to understand criminal behavior by considering the interaction between biological, psychological, and sociological factors. It is an approach to understanding an individual's behavior that attributes it to multiple causes rather than just one. This perspective allows for the fact that the interaction of our body, mind, and our environment all, all affect each other in different ways. Let's think more about these three. Bio or biological. The bio components examine aspects of biology that influence health. It is often associated with the relationship between disease and bodily health. This might include brain changes, genetics, or the functioning of major organs, such as the liver, the kidney, or even the motor system. Bio biological influence are mainly an individual's genetics and family history. For example, Jago diagnoses that he has a colon cancer, and the doctor finds out that the Jago inherited this disease from his mother who died five years ago with this disease. Next component is psycho or psychological. The psycho component of the theory examines psychological components, things like thoughts, emotions, or behavior. It is studying how people react through their emotions and thoughts which can result in a certain behavior. For example, in the pandemic, concerns about disease, quarantine, and sudden lifestyle changes have been harmful to those who have been experienced mental illness conditions like um, like anxiety, depression, these new life dynamics have been also impact people who had not experienced mental health problems before. The last component is social or sociological. The social component of the biopsychosocial model examines social factors that might influence the health of an individual. Things like our interaction with others, our culture, or our economic status. A good example of a social factor would be a sad or stressful life event, such as a really um, bad breakup, or someone getting fired from their job. Both events are increased stress and put an individual at risk for illness. An important connection to make here is that the elements of the biopsychosocial model are all connected. Biology can affect psychology, which, which can affect social well-being, which can further affect biology, and so on. I'll give you an example of the biopsychosocial model related to committing a crime. An example of this is Anne's experience of um, depression and liver problem. 
um, she is depressed because they don't have enough money to sustain their everyday needs because she was recently fired from their job from her job rather depression does not um, depression does not directly cause liver problems however someone with depression is more likely to abuse alcohol and so therefore could develop life liver liver damage in that problem it can lead to a crime like holdupping robbery and anything and anything that can give her money for her disease and for everyday needs and biopsychosocial model was first proposed by george e engel and john r romano in 1977 as opposed to the biomedical approach, Engel strived for a more complete approach by recognizing that each patient has um, has their own thoughts, feelings, and history. He framed this model for both illnesses and psychological problems. Engel and Romano's publication in the biopsychosocial model was adapted by the World Health Organization or WHO in 2002 as a basis for the international classification of function. Importance of biopsychosocial model. The biopsychosocial model is widely used to organize one's thoughts. It shows that a person's problem are all connected and they are maybe more um, they are maybe more complex than previously imagined. Its purpose is to have advanced understanding and knowledge among criminologists on the interface between social science, psychological science, and biological science in the etiology and treatment of antisocial and criminal behavior. I'm hoping that you understand the biopsychosocial model of crime and causation. Now let's move to moral insanity and criminal responsibility. Moral insanity referred to a type of mental disorder consisting of abnormal emotions and behaviors in the apparent absence of intellectual impairments, delusions, or hallucinations. It means that it is a psychological level of a person when he or she committed a crime. This is between being aware or not. While the criminal responsibility refers to a person's ability to understand his or his or her conduct at the time of at the time a crime is committed. In other words, what a person is thinking when he commits a crime or what result is anticipated or expected when when a crime is committed to make it simple this is being responsible of the criminal for his action that he or she will punish for doing it and that's the end of the discussion i hope that you learned something for me again i am caroline may itelmo a criminology student from BSC 1-1. Thank you very much and goodbye.